the key part that came out of the Cities and Infrastructure White Paper was the need for the government to have a Minister of Infrastructure. So somebody who actually is accountable and responsible for the infrastructure within the United Kingdom and the, the, the economic spend that's required to make us one of the top countries in the world um, from, from an economic point of view. Skills are fundamental to obviously to the design and then the construction of all infrastructure projects. If you take Crossrail as a good example, all the tunnelling skills are required for that. If, if Crossrail comes to an end and there's not another tunnelling project for, for the skills to move on to, we will lose these to, to, to other countries, to the next project overseas. So it's important that we have this 5, 10, 15, 20 year plan in place that we then roll out. And that's why having somebody in government, a Minister of Infrastructure, is so important to see that the longevity and to, to drive the infrastructure programme and, and the projects through um, over a long term period. The public tend to think of infrastructure as just roads and railways. But infrastructure is buildings, it's hospitals, it's public realm, it's, it's open space, it's a built and natural environment. Well, the infrastructure and the economy are so linked because it's all to do with jobs um, and, and, and skills um, and to make sure that we've got the best infrastructure in place to allow our country to function. Connectivity is really important between towns and cities. I mean, with, with the south of England being the largest population in the country, but the, the, the fact that we've got the Northern Powerhouse, you've got Scotland, that connectivity and the speed of connectivity between towns and cities will help boost the, the economy in, in these other towns and cities outside of London. So that's the important part. And that connectivity creates new transport links, creates new corridors, which then in itself generates more infrastructure by way of new residential um, developments, new retail developments, etc., etc. So it's the connection between cities.